Give us this day our daily bread and to the Republic for which it stands. And by the power invested in me, I pronounce us ready to eat. <laughs> Welcome back to another movie review. Today I am reviewing the movie Sister Act. That is correct. And this is a double feature, so I'll be reviewing Sister Act 2 on a later date when I watch it. So let's get on with this lovely movie review. In 1968, Dolores Wilson, who is played by Whoopi Goldberg, is a young Catholic student. And then it fast forwards to 1992 where Dolores is a lounge singer in Reno, Nevada as Dolores Van Cartier. Now, Dolores witnesses her gangster boyfriend, Vince LaRocco, um, execute an informant. So what happens is police lieutenant Eddie Souther places her into a witness protection program. She is brought to um, St. Catherine's Parish, um, a convent in a rundown part of San Francisco's neighborhood that is sketchy. The Reverend Mother is not so happy about this, but is reluctantly agrees to shelter Dolores as the police will pay for the failing convent as they are going out of business. Disguised as Sister Mary Clarence, Dolores struggles with the convent life of doing what they have to do. So she sneaks out to a bar, followed by two of her sister nuns, Mary Patrick and Mary Roberts. Now, as they get back to the convent, they are caught and the Reverend Mother forces Dolores to join the convent choir. With her seeing experience, Dolores transforms the struggling choir into something much bigger. At Sunday Mass, Dolores leads the much improved choir in a traditional performance of Hail Holy Mary. Now, if you ever heard of that, it is boring. Now, she does this before shifting into the gospel and taking all the gospel music and putting it into rock and roll interpretations. Although the Reverend Mother is infuriated, like completely mad, this gentleman congratulates the choir's unorthodox performance for attracting people to the service. Now, since then, they're convinced by Dolores, he allows the nuns to clean up the church and the neighborhood so that it can be more presentable and not look like some place from some barnyard area. Now, Souther chastises Dolores for nearly being exposed on national television as Vince has placed a bounty on her head. Wants to kill her. Boom, boom, boom for a hundred grand. The choir continues to amaze the people who come into the church and the visitors uh, with a rendition of My Guy, which is My God. And the nuns attract media attention for revitalizing the neighborhood. Well, for making it look much better than what it is before. So this gentleman, O'Hara, informs the, the convent that Pope John Paul II, having heard of the choir's success, will visit the church himself, which they're all amazed. Dolores, Dolores tells the Reverend Mother that Vince's upcoming trial means she will soon leave, where they're going to put him on the stand. And the Reverend Mother reveals that she has resigned as not being the Reverend Mother, believes she is no longer of use to the convent, which she thinks she is not doing her job anymore. So... Souther discovers a corrupt detective in his um, precinct where he works has given Dolores has given Dolores's location to Vince and rushes to San Francisco where Dolores has been put up um, in the Catholic Church to warn her that she uh, that she's in trouble but she is kidnapped by Vince's men because he doesn't get there in the nick of time. Well, lo and behold, the Reverend Mother uh, reveals Dolores' identity to her nuns, to her sisters, and they decide to go after her because they give a crap about her. Guilt, um, so what they do is they go and they steal a helicopter. Well, they, 
well, they more or less guilt trip a pilot into allowing them um, to use the um, the helicopter as they are the ones that, well, as he flies it all the way to Reno from San Francisco. So there, Vince orders his men to kill Dolores, but they are reluctant to shoot her while she is dressed as a nun, okay? Because, I mean, they don't really want to kill a nun. I mean, they're like, well, it's bad to kill a nun, so they're not going to. So, they arrive at Vincent's casino. The nuns find Dolores after she escaped from Vince's men that she's ran away as they were trying to kill her. They become trapped in the casino lounge, all of them, Dolores and, and the nuns. And so Dolores prepares to sacrifice herself. But before Vince can shoot her, Southers arrives. The Lieutenant Eddie Southers arrives and arrests Vince and his men. Well, thanks to Dolores for what she has done, the Reverend Mother decides to remain at the convent because she is so eternally grateful for what um, Dolores has done. So, as they return to um, the, um, the convent, um, the choir, led by Dolores, sings, I will follow him to a packed audience in uh, St. Catherine's um, Church because of um, what's going on, that the Pope was coming to visit them and he was there to, because um, he's heard about the choir, so he's there to listen to them. And it, the end result is that the Pope gives them a nice standing ovation to the point of he's happy because they're able to do a rendition of I will follow him that is not so rock and roll, but it's more on the churchy side, but not so much churchy, but still a little bit of rock and roll that gives them their little flair of who they are. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this movie review. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to comment below and also remember to subscribe below to hit that subscribe button when I so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. And remember to be safe while the COVID-19 is going rampage across the world. So don't touch your face, your mouth, your eyes, your nose. Don't touch anything. Wash your hands as much as possible. And remember to be safe.